The only reason they robbed Boosie was because this was get back from Duke the Jeweler. Y'all gotta understand that everybody from Duke the Jeweler's side, <clears throat> the OGs came down to press Boosie, man. They seen Boosie's people, his whole entourage, wearing Duke the Jewelry's jewelry, man. And that wasn't seeming right, bro. That wasn't right at all, man. Because at the end of the day, Duke the Jeweler worked so hard to get those pieces. He spent millions of dollars and had to make all these connections and learn the jewelry game all by himself with no help from any of the outsiders. And so for Boosie and whoever it was that actually set him up to come around and actually be flexing and flaunting his jewelry in front of people's faces like that, this is what made them get a target on their back. This is what really made the people run up on Boosie like that because they know for a fact that he didn't buy that they know for a fact that that louis vuitton bag that had that million dollars worth of jewelry in it that had to have got taken man somebody who sold that asap imagine what we would do like somebody gets hit up and they got the million dollar bag right there that's the reason why the folks even ran up on them and took that in the first place man there was only five people who really knew how much duke the jeweler brought with him to that concert to that dice game and a lot of the people it didn't work that they tried to get him at the dice game first, but he was able to escape out that situation. Duke the Jeweler was tr uh, was tried. They tried him multiple times. They really tried to get him at that dice game because they knew they could lock up that mansion, that Airbnb mansion that they got, and that no one was going to e even be able to hear him scream. But the fact that they waited until he came to Boosie's dressing room to dap him up and wish him good luck and everything for his concert and all that. And even after all that, even after him giving him the gift and teaching Boosie how he was going to do his real estate moves, the people still try to ran, run down and draw on Duke the Jeweler, man. And Duke the Jeweler was trying to get to his Draco before any of the people could run up on him, but it was too late. The way that the whole thing worked out was the fact that they made him park so far back in the corner that his key fob didn't even work to unlock the door because it was the car was so far away if y'all know anything about them cars and the key fobs it's that you need it it's only works when you 32 feet or less away from the car and they make duke the jeweler park 50 feet or more away from that backstage door when he walked out of that dressing room there was only a few people who had access to that a whole entire area remember when boosie pulled up duke the jeweler was right behind him and for some reason boosie's driver told him not to let the gates up for the guy that was behind him otherwise any other time they would have been able to both go in through the gates and park right next to each other but for some reason that night they didn't want duke the jeweler to be parking in the secured area that had the guarded guy that walked around with the strap to make sure that boosie's car and all the other vip cars was protected they literally made duke the jeweler park in the slums and walk down that alley in that sidewalk and that's where they ended up getting him man that alley comes right after that parking garage when you walk through that duke the jeweler was almost at his car and everything but that black truck pulled up when he seen the windows raised down and he seen the dude get out with the houston rockets hat that's what made duke the jeweler realize that he was being set up the whole entire time because he seen the same guy with the backpack on at the dice game and this was the people who was actually pocket watching super hard if you remember that dice game i want y'all to look at the footage right now look how it's all these people standing around but it's only a few people that's actually playing the dice game everybody else is pocket watching like crazy man they got their eyes glued to these ballers and how much money they got in their pocket every time they take a bill out of that stack they're counting it in their head trying to figure out an actual like how much money does he have is that is that four hundred thousand or is it five hundred thousand did i count it right in my head because they're not close enough and they're not ballers enough to have the money in their hand so they have to pocket watch because that's the only way they could do it it's like how people watch tv and they see all these people do things that they could never do and so this is the same thing the broke dudes that was in the, that was actually just hanging around for no reason how did how did all these guys get invited to be around all these millionaires like who really let these dudes in the streets off with the crinkled up neck collared shirts and everything like that they had the shirts that were wrinkled uh, they had stain stains on their stuff they didn't look as fresh as duke the jeweler they didn't look as fresh as boosie they didn't look as fresh as jay prince jr and all the people who was participating at the pool table throwing the money on it and throwing the dice and hitting the sevens and elevens right 
And so it got a lot of people to think like, was these dudes invited to try to like rob somebody after the dice game? Because if you really know your history about the dice games, dice games always get robbed, man. Dice games always get robbed. And y'all gotta pay attention to the fact this is how they got takeoff. This is how they got takeoff. They had the fake dice game argument just to take him out, man. And y'all gotta understand, bro. Put the RIPs to take off. Put the rocket for take off. Put the diamond for Duke the Jeweler. And put the dolphin for Young Dolph. Because at the end of the day, man, it's right there in front of everybody's eyes how they're lining up these rappers and they setting them up. And no matter where you go, man, you could go over here. You could go over there. You could go where it's nice. You could go down south, east coast. It don't matter. People are setting up these rappers. People are setting up these millionaire businessmen like Duke the Jeweler and Young Dolph and take off because at the end of the day they hungry there's no more of these zzz loans there's no more nothing business loans they can't take anything away and they're not getting no more handouts so these dudes is, is actually trying to go back to the old-fashioned like strong arming people and everything like that and that's gonna get a lot of people in a messed up situation because there's gonna be a lot of people that's quick on they, uh, quick on they move, quick on they draw, head on a swivel. They might react faster than takeoff. They might react faster than Dolph or Duke the Jeweler, and they might have have it ready to go because they know they can't risk anything because they seen what happened to them, and now they moving so militantly that any wrong move, you look at them wrong. Anybody that ever looked at them, somebody wrong, man, they gone, bro. They gone, B. They gone. This is what this is what it is now. So anybody that's out there trying to look at people wrong, trying to mean mug, act like you tough, try to act like you take something from somebody, you actually trying to do something in the streets, man, it is not going to work, bro. It ain't going to work at all. Y'all might as well quit, retire, and hang it up because somebody out here is going to get you popped. Somebody out here going to get you locked up. Somebody out here going to make sure that they retaliate if you even do try to do anything because... It's not easy to, it's not that hard actually. It's quite easy to figure out anything about anybody nowadays. So if the wrong person make the wrong move within 24 hours, within that same day, something could happen to them. And this is why people need to mind their own business, leave people alone, and make sure that they are where they belong. Because at the end of the day, if you at a place and you trying to do all of these things, to these ballers, to these rappers, to these people who got actual things to lose and families to feed and all that, then you got to make, hey, at the end of the day, them people are standing their ground now and they not going to let nobody that's actually trying to harm somebody or rob somebody in the streets, they not going to let them get away. They not going to get, they not going to let them touch them at all because at the end of the day, we seen what happened to Young Dolph. We seen what happened to Duke the Jeweler and we seen what happened to Takeoff. And we're not going to let anybody try to do anything like that ever again as long as we still walking. And so that's the real message because at the end of the day, they targeting these ballers. They targeting these people, the lazy guys, the lazy guys that don't know how to make money, that don't know how to take, they, take care of their family and raise their kids. The same usual suspects, the same dudes that be running off on their kids when they young. The same dudes that be taking off on their baby mama when they knock her up. The same dudes that be crashing out and doing t five year bids and for no reason for another guy being the being a palm piece in the whole Rico, right? It's up for those guys. And those are the guys that is trying to actually go out here and take out all the ballers like Dolph, Duke the Jeweler, take off. So we gotta pay attention and, and watch closely to everybody. Because at the end of the day, people are starting to get desperate now. And this is why you got to move even more like in a way where nobody can run up on you. And at the end of the day, if they try something, and a lot of people going to be ready, man, because they tired of seeing all these people like who's millionaires and supposed to have security with them and everything. If they could get touched like that, then that means that it was a setup, man. So you got to watch people who's trying to set people up, man. You got to keep an eye on all that because... If you could get trained to it and see it from a mile away, that might be something that save you and get the other people the karma instantly.